Arthdal Chronicles Season 2 was such an incredible ride. It beat most expectations and more. The one complaint is more. We want some more. Hopefully, it doesn't take five years for Season 3 to grace our screens like this one did. The one sore note is Tagen. Somehow, I can't imagine Arthdal Chronicles without him. He was fierce, smart, and charismatic. He was the perfect villain, a product of the world he found himself in. As much as I wanted the three children of the prophecy to succeed, I secretly rooted for him. To what end, I don't know. As he said, Tanya is the winner in all this. Boonsiam was just her sword to achieving her end. This is why she extracted those promises from him and ensured that there would be consequences if he fails to abide by them. After all, he's her dream. At the end of the day, Saya saved the day. He was detrimental to foiling Tagen's plans to die with Yunsiam and Tanya. That was a smart plan by Tagen because, just in Unsiam's little absence, Tachukin sat on the throne. Nunbayal and the Neanthal were magnificent as they broke through Earthdal's barrier. Zabra was the highlight of the episode. As is their custom, she came back to repay Carrot's Galma. She was glorious and elegant as always. Evidently, Tanya is the glue that holds both the people, Unsiam and Saya, together. The people of Arthdal accepted Unsiam as their king because of her, and the fact that he's Aramun. With her presumed death, Saya intends to ask his uncle for Arthdal. This means that she's the glue between him and his brother. Saya has always had selfish tendencies and inclinations. He only acts human when Tanya is involved. And with her presumed death, He's willing to fight Unsiam for Arthdal. Asa Sokin's prophecy came true in the end. The mirror reflected the sword and marked the end of Tagen's world. Tilha has really been through it. I must say that she's the master strategist, only Saya can compare. She was instrumental in Tagen gaining the throne, and might see to it that Arak gets the throne in the future if there will be a third season. She succeeded her father and Tagen, and she will do all it takes to take Arthdal for a rock. There's every likelihood that there will be a third season, as there are so many stories still yet to be told. We would like to know more about Nunbayal and Nasanaho's love story. How Yunsiam and Tanya govern Arthdal, how their love evolved, and if Unsiam abides by his promises. If there will be a third season, we are likely to see conflicts and fights between Unsiam, Saya, Tilha, and Arak. However, with Tanya, Saya's threat might be neutralized. Moreover, his uncle is also an uncle to Unsiam, although they are known to annihilate everything on their path. As humans, Tanya's dream of a better world with equal rights is a utopia. There will always be conflicts and discord as someone schemes somewhere about how to take Arthdal for themselves. Did Season 2 meet your expectations? Do you think there should be Season 3? Let's know your thoughts in the comment section below. Stick around for all the updates on your favorite shows. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel and turn on your notification bell. Thanks for watching. Bye.